Alrighty folks, Trevor coming back at you for part two of my video earlier. Alright, this stuff has been simmering all day long. Man, it smells so good. Now, we must talk about it. My ingredients I use were brown sugar, about a half a cup. I use some spicy brown mustard, about a quarter of a cup. I use two cans of northern white beans. <coughs> A little bit of sauerkraut, doesn't matter what kind of sauerkraut you like, there's many numerous brands, okay? Um, I didn't have bacon for the recipe, so I substituted a slice of ham. I didn't have kielbasa, which this would be even better with kielbasa, but I substituted a hot dog from last night that was burnt, not burnt, but grilled on the grill. So with that, let me turn this around. Let me show you guys. Oh, that looks... So doggone wonderful. Now, I must apologize. Earlier in the video, you've seen boxes sitting around my living room uh, in the corner at one shot. We are getting ready for a yard sale next weekend. So we're going through cleaning out like here. Let me turn around here. And you see all those clothes sitting on my buffet. Those are all clothes that I don't wear anymore or I've had for a very long time. And I'm just, you know... Yard sale. My wife's like, let's have a yard sale. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Taste test time. We're going to do a taste test with a little bit of sauerkraut and some beans right there. Look at that. Oh, that is just heaven, I think. Okay, here we go. It's a little hot. It's boiling. It's been in the crock pot. Oh. Now, if this was a really cold day, oh, man, heaven. So let's get a little piece of hot dog here, a little piece of sauerkraut, a little bit of a bean. Wait, sorry. Using my cell phone to record this, so I don't have a camera to record with, so I use my cell phone. The type of cell phone I have does not allow me to switch the camera back and forth around while I'm filming at the same time so sorry for the camera shaking okay here we go oh, it's not going to be like kielbasa but it's going to be all right mm. oh man this is really good my wife and kids do not know what they're missing um i'm the only one that's going to eat out of this so that's why I use a spoon because no one else will eat this. So don't worry. There's no ick factor. No one else is going to eat any. Trust me. My mom used to make this recipe all the time. At, uh, we used to camp at Green Valley Campgrounds in Sturgis, Michigan. And I know I keep plugging Green Valley Campgrounds. I was going to call the video of the first part Saturday, Saturday sour, Sauerkraut Saturday or something. Um, but I decided to plug Green Valley Campgrounds because they are a wonderful place owned by the Nettlemans, uh, Mr. Bart and Jamie Nettleman. Um, they are wonderful. I have known their family, or they've known me since I was like 13, 14 years old. Here I am, 45 now. So, you know, they got, their kids are grown, and I remember when their kids were just little, younger than me, and now they're going off in the world, starting their way, and doing all things, you know, and um, so yeah, I've known that family for a very long time. And they are wonderful people. If you're in Sturgis, Michigan, or near Howe, Indiana, Indiana border Sturgis, Michigan, and you want to go play a round of golf at the Green Valley Golf Course, why don't you head just a little bit down the road and go to the Green Valley Campgrounds where you can camp. And uh, I don't know their prices, but I'm sure it's uh, fair. You know, it, you know, if you want to pull a camper in there, you want to pitch a tent. I don't know the rules anymore. Things might have changed, but. I'm sure they have a website too. Go check it out. And it is a beautiful place. I spent many summers as a kid there, and it's awesome. Uh, so that's my little shameless plug for Green Valley Campgrounds. And this video will be called Green Valley Campgrounds Sturgis, Michigan Part 2. All because I wanted to make a dish of food. And that's what I wanted to convey to you guys. Food sparks memories. Songs mark will trigger memories food songs a smell a taste a sight 
and thinking about this just sparked it when I tasted it and that's why I called the video what I did because we only had this when we were camping at Green Valley Campgrounds and it's just a wonderful place I'm telling you, you should check it out very family orientated and they have a nice size Olympic pool always nice for the kids basketball courts uh, baseball diamond playground area and they always have family things going on throughout the year they have um, yeah, they have over the Labor Day weekend which is coming up Mr. Green Valley Campgrounds uh, contest and uh, I was in that once and uh, you should go check it out it's really good it's, it's just wholesome family fun and it's awesome love you guys take care and uh, I'll see you next time